Hello again, guys. I just failed the shadow mission for the first time ever. So I'm just going to um, restart the episode. And I was 12 minutes into that. So basically, it's the second mission and it's the longest mission also. So, let's start. You have these vehicles. The only one that is actually any good really is this one. So, it says, remember what she does, a check, answer question after reaching goal to clear. This is the only mission where you have to answer a question to actually beat it. And if you get the question wrong, you have to do the entire thing again. It's not just you have this many chances. So, it says, shadow the wife of the United Nations police che chief. I thought it was chef. A chef. Police chef. Uh, while you're following her, don't miss what she's doing. When the check mark appears on the screen, it's when it says check, it'll be something, and you have to just remember it. As I said, I actually failed this uh, about 12 minutes through the episode. Basically, you're in a, they're in a taxi, and you might think, well, this is easy, you just have to follow a taxi for until they get to the goal, but no, that's not the case. This mission takes about 15, 14 minutes. Which really is not, well, not sure how to describe it. Which makes it a lot harder. I mean, if you just touch the vehicle, you fail, as I learned, the hard way. Uh, so this taxi goes as slow as it possibly can, and we just drive. Just drive until it comes to a halt, which is right now. Right next to the station. It looks more like a museum, but it is a train station. And you practically blind at that point. But anyway, enter the station and after she's make it makes her way to the train or the train stop the train platform then we just uh, we follow a train. Which is not the easiest thing to do in the world. So just follow and keep following until we get here. No, she actually comes to a halt. That's the problem with that's the problem with this game. Um, you don't have to hit an object to actually make it count. To make it count. Uh, you don't actually have to hit it for it to be destroyed. So if you're close to it, it'll probably collapse. Which can be real pain when you're in the zero, but cause no damage missions. So right now, she's gone in the she's gone in the train, teleported into the train, and you just need to follow the train. Now she is in the final carriage, which makes it a lot easier. I mean, you could be quite far away from the train and still not too far away. Our limitations are 10 metres is too close and 100 metres is too far away and you get about like 30 seconds when you're too far away. I don't know why I'm too close, I don't have time. Luckily, the next stop is right around the corner, so... Which actually just teleports well away from the uh, your vehicle. Right over there. 30 meters to 70 meters in like a millisecond. So we just follow again. Listen to some epic music. And we just wait. And again, she gets into another taxi. And you just follow again. The mission is called Shadow, obviously. Because you have to shadow. Now these police officers are pretty useless considering they don't even use the steering wheel. 
Watch as he just plows, usually plows into an ambulance. This time it decided to stop in front of me. Okay, that's never happened before. But anyway, just follow the taxi which was stopped at a red light, thankfully. And we follow all the way around here. I, I want to call it the triangle, but I know it's not called that. Like Central Park or something. It's somewhere in New York, anyway. So just follow. Oh, too close. But you can collect some new objects if you want, like this signal. Like this signal. Uh, and. Yeah. So we do this. We take a hairpin kind of corner. Not really hairpin. Two right angles. I mean, this taxi driver is pretty reckless. He doesn't even care that it just rammed into a. That's called a pig truck. No idea why. That's what it's called. Just rammed into it and destroyed it. Doesn't even care. Not even damaged. I think sometimes there are other. The good thing about this game is that cars that uh, can crash automatically, you don't need to crash into a car for it to be destroyed. So a car can actually plow into another one that has nothing to do with you. I don't know how to do a wheel in this game. And the taxi stops, and if I hit that taxi when she was still in it, I would have got a game over. Uh, I hit that fire hydrant last time, and I did it again. Except I have more DC points. Okay, so she crosses two roads and she only really needs to cross one because those two are blocked off. And there are no cars at all on this road at the moment. Now, last time there was a check here. There isn't this time because there's no person there. Oh, wait, there is. She's appeared randomly. Now, that is woman. That is a woman sign. So, yeah, I've remembered that. So that's one of the checks. I think there's two on the first one and three on the others. So there's less to remember on the first one, but still, it's not really hard to remember this stuff. And we're going into our second train follow, which is harder than the first one because it lasts for a long time and is a lot harder because she's not in the final carriage. So again, we have this part. Now you may think, oh, the train's already here. Nope. That is on the other platform. So it's not that train. We have to wait for another one, which goes this way. So let's just wait for it to arrive. Uh, right, it's arrived. And that, she's got it in the first, um, the first carriage. So you can either go in front of it, which would be a stupid mistake, or you can go behind it, which is what you do. And it takes ages to get to the last carriage. And you're going, you will practically, unless you're a magician, you will fall too, fall too far away, but it's not hard to catch back up to it. The spike is way faster than a subway train for some reason. So I've caught up. And now, oh yeah, you're already here, you might think. No! This is only the first off of about four. And not all of them are this far apart. Some of them are quite a long way apart, and they take like 30 seconds or more to get there. So this is where the length of the mission really starts to form, really. It's where you really start to see how long it actually takes. Now this is where, well, after the second stop is where I hit the train last time. I'm hoping not to do that again. 
10 minutes in. Uh, so just follow. And keep on following for however long. It was about seven minutes when we left. There's nothing. I don't think you're invincible. If you crash into one of those trains uh, that isn't the one she's riding in, you might get wrecked and destroyed and game over. However, if you just tap this train, it's instant game over. So here we are at the second stop, about one minute later. And we have a couple more stops. Just wait again for it to start again. A lot of it is just waiting. No, I'm quite close to that train, I don't want to go too close to it. You could try and go to the side of it, but that would be pretty stupid. Because not only are the pillars in the way, there are, uh, are also the trains, as you already saw, so you'd probably die. Or hit that train and die. Either way, you're going to die if you do that, probably, unless you're extremely lucky or a magician, as I said before. Now, around here is where I died before. Around 11.40, or 8, and it, almost 9 minutes into the mission. Take a look. No, I can't even see the next stop yet. And we have to wait for it to get to the last stop, and I mean the last stop of the subway, so it's the end, which is near Little Italy. And it's not this one. I think it's the next one. As you can see there's still more subway there, so guess what we're gonna have to do? Yep, follow it again. Let's go. So let's just follow again. Keep on going. Really, there's not much to say. I'm following trains. Hurrah. Oh my. 13 minutes in. So I'm actually going to have to stop the video soon. I'm not going to finish the video within the... I'm not going to finish the mission within the video. Right, so there's Little Italy. So this is the last stop. Yep. Last stop right here. Finally. I'm just going to stop the video right here. And I'm right behind the train. And I can't go any faster. I mean if you hit one carriage. If he gets destroyed, that's the entire train. Cow dung. That's what I mean. I didn't even destroy the train, I only tapped it. That's actually the first time I've actually got a game over on this mission, ironically. And it's when I start recording because I was way too close to the train. <sighs> I'll add that as in like a outtake reel.